Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about Golang versus TypeScript. So recently, Golang has been getting momentum, and it's obvious why it has been getting momentum. So I don't know if you guys have tried Golang, but it is very easy to learn compared to Java or C Sharp which are uh, languages that would be uh, compared against Golang are a little bit harder to learn. And also um, Rust is also a newcomer. Rust, by the way, um, uses memory management in a different way than the other mentioned uh, do. So for example, uh, Rust has this borrow checker type of memory management, which helps a lot when it comes to uh, low level programming. So for example, operating systems, probably game engines, all those um, you know, software requirements that need a lot of memory management. But in the case of uh, API development, you really don't need as much memory management, which is why Golang makes a perfect choice um, in the API case, uh, or obviously um, you know, distributed systems and, and systems overall. So um, comparing this to TypeScript though, so TypeScript is single threaded, and now that you know JavaScript with the addition of TypeScript has typing, which is really good. Still, it's you know it's a little bit slow. You have this asynchrony or the asynchronous uh, behavior that can be a little bit confusing sometimes. And um, obviously, you cannot leverage multi-threading. So this is why Golang comes in very handy. But um, you know, Golang being uh, you know way easier to write compared to Java and C Sharp but still having the same or even more power than the, you know, those two, uh, makes for Golang a very, uh, you know, good and attractive option for software developers to adopt, which is why I'm starting to learn Golang. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna be releasing tutorials and whatnot for you guys uh, to learn and develop APIs. So I think Golang is the new technology to look at. I don't think Rust is gonna be as um, developer friendly compared to Golang because there's a lot of learning curve. It's not as easy to, to um, you know, develop with. Even though Rocket right now, the framework Rocket to create APIs with Rust is really good, I do feel that Golang is even easier. Now, when you look into Golang, there's a couple of frameworks or libraries that you can use. There is Gorilla Mox, which is the one that I've been using lately. But unfortunately, Gorilla Mox um, has been archived. That means no one is maintaining the library currently, uh, which is a little bit um, annoying <laughs> because uh, I was using it. I really liked it a lot, and I liked the the you know what the library had to offer. It, it's very close to the standard library, meaning that a lot of the things that the the Gorilla Mox library used. Uh, or implemented was very close to the standard library. So it means that if you used uh, Gorilla Mox, it was pretty probable that, or, or for example, right now that it's archived, a lot of the things that you used won't have to uh, be changed because it's very close to the standard library. So there's this other library called Chi, uh, Go Chi, C-H-I. It's also using the standard library for HTTP routing, which I think is really good and it's the one that I'm using. But there's other two frameworks, not libraries, frameworks that are also very popular, which is Jin and Fiverr. Now, I think that Fiverr is being used even more across the, you know, the web or people creating software. So I think that if you have to choose between, uh, you know, these frameworks or libraries, I think in my personal opinion that Fiverr or Qi are good options to, to choose. So yeah. I think in the future, and currently, uh, by the way, I'm developing a small project in Qi with uh, React TypeScript and Next.js for the front end. So I'm going to be releasing that, and I'm going to show you guys how to, you know, develop, deploy uh, all these technologies together, so you can have a full stack application. So those are my thoughts on Golang. Of course, um, you cannot. Uh, you know, mention Golang without mentioning concurrency. Obviously, concurrency is one of the greatest things that Golang has in order to do, you know, parallel processes, which makes it makes Golang very attractive. 
Obviously you have concurrency in Java, you have concurrency in C Sharp, but Golang does it in such a way, you know, it's native. They built Golang, um, you know, having concurrency in mind, which makes concurrency way easier compared to other programming languages, which is why Golang is a very attractive option today. So hopefully you guys, um, you know, got something useful from this video. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.